Imagine a teacher walking up and down in classroom. They've got students writing on their worksheets, tuck tuck sounds of the teacher's shoes. Got that image in your mind? Okay. Now imagine it's an online class. The teacher, wait, they can no longer walk around their classroom. Or can they? So today we're going to be talking about three ways to give feedback and monitor students in an online classroom. Number one, creep into breakout rooms. I'm sure you're all familiar with how a breakout room works, so I'm not going to delve into the details here. But in a physical classroom, you can just walk up to one of your students' desk, check their work over their shoulder, or listen in to their discussion quietly. But on Zoom, your entrance becomes quite loud, with only a few of you in the room. Students may feel interrupted and have the need to include you in their discussion. Well, here's a tip. Teachers can try entering the room with both their mics and cameras off. Some students won't see you and will continue with their discussion, and so you can monitor them smoothly. And those who do see you will understand that you will only be a listener and nothing more. But they will also know that you're there to answer any questions they have. And any feedback you have, you can just type in the chat box for everyone to see. Number two. Enter the breakout rooms loudly with your camera on. This allows you to give verbal feedback and is best for when you have reminders, important messages to bring, or when students raise their hand for your help. This gives you the opportunity to interact with your students verbally and can ensure your students will have definitely heard your feedback. Just make sure you're not interrupting their work too much and that you won't spend too much time chatting in their room and neglecting others. Number three, feedback in written form. Maybe it's a group work, maybe it's an individual one. As long as students are working on some sort of collaborative websites like Jamboards or Google Documents, you can use this method. Instead of entering breakout rooms, just enter their virtual works and give feedback there. For example, on Jamboards, you can simply add a sticky note with your feedback. On Google Documents, you can leave a comment. This way, Students will not be interrupted and will see your feedback instantly. This is also great for when students are all working individually in the main room, as it will be hard to speak to them one on one. However, if you're using this method, remember to go back to check the feedbacks you've given to see if your students have replied with a question. So there you go. Those are three ways you can walk around your students' desks virtually. Do you think these monitoring and giving feedback methods are as effective as the ones we use in a real classroom? If you think they're more effective, how can we adapt them to a physical classroom? Created using Powtoon.